BCIT has officially launched their first flight simulators, allowing for some real hands-on experience for post-secondary students training in the field of aviation. But being able to put them in the simulator, mm -hmm. it really ties together all the systems for them. It, it connects the dots, the light bulb goes off. These are the two new flight simulators. This one here behind me is the Q400 designed for shorter flights. And then this one here, that's the big boy, the 737 Max, which simulates bigger WestJet like planes that you see on international flights. So let's have a look inside. Our nose will start to here come Here we off. go. Okay. S straighten it out. Straighten it out. Put your throttle, your handles okay. forward a little bit. Good. And we're flying. Oh. <laughs> oh. No autopilot needed for this reporter. BCIT's aerospace program houses over 400 students learning all aspects of the industry. While the simulator has uses for logging flight times for pilots in training, it also gives engineers, technicians, and airport operations students practical training. Uh, we can operate these sims as if they were a vehicle on YVR tarmacs and understand how the operations on the ground work as well. So it's not just in the air, yeah. uh, but because we can input in our navigation system into the database here, any airport around the world, we can provide that type of training. According to the province, the aerospace sector will generate two and a half billion dollars annually and directly employ 9,000 people. Aerospace faculty says it will not only benefit BCIT students, but provide training for other industry services to further progress the growing sector. Could be recruitment, mm -hmm. flight uh, sim evaluations, could be cockpit resource management, how to how do two people work uh, well in, in the cockpit, mm -hmm. uh, and it could be recurrent training, so it, there's a wide variety of of things that these simulators can be used for right. that our existing training aids can't. BCIT's latest flight simulators, backed by a $14.5 million investment from the Pacific Economic Development Agency of Canada, will help this new wave of aviation professionals take to the skies. In Richmond, Joe Sadowski, City News.